Good morning. Hey, good morning. How you doing, Deep? I'm pretty good. good. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Likewise. So wh where are you located? Um, in Bay Area, Sunnyvale. Sunnyvale. Yeah. Very good. I'm in the, in the marina. In the marina. Oh, you are at the very cool place. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're in a very hot place. It's, it's so, too hot for me down there. <laughs> All right. Did you uh, sync up with Andreas? Just responded to his email, which he sent last night. Okay. So he has responded. Actually chosen one of the topic. Oh, th thank you for uh, for doing this. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, so. Hey, Roland. Hey, Deep. Hey, everyone. Hey, Josh. Good morning. Hey, good morning. All right. Yeah, Deep, just uh, the only thing left, I think, is, is if, if we could find anyone who has, I know it's early, any, I asked this in the meeting last, last month, uh, encryption and AI, you know, some, some kind of connection there, e even yeah. if, even if it's just a thought experiment, right? Like, so, something I, I think could be could be interesting just trying to think of new interesting things um that uh, that could be done you should but, talk to frederick Kautz, who i think was here previously talking about security doc frederick uh what was his last name marlon Kautz k-a-u-t-z i'll put it in the chat oh thank you yeah, well, any anyway, deep. It's uh, we're looking forward to it, and if we could be of any help, um, please, you know, even if it's just reviewing things or, or you got need some help with anything, just just let me know. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Yeah, I think uh, uh, in other project, I'm always talking to Andres uh, in other regards. So, I'll just <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Well, in that case, we'll we'll invite you next time. I, I actually didn't dawn on me. We all we all went to the Giants game on a uh, uh, couple of nights ago. <laughs> Where was it? In in San Francisco, the Giants. Nice. You know, I understand. Yeah, I'm okay. So San Francisco. So, yep. Unlike those uh, those Santa Clara 49ers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so. so I think folks, I think Adil, uh, I was just wondering, uh, does he attend generally this time? Because this is Friday, I think evening in his time. Uh, yeah, I think it's kind of late for him, but he's usually in the meeting. He's usually in the meeting, yeah. Okay. Hey, good morning, everyone else. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Let's see. I'll share the I'll share the doc. Um Sorry for the confusion last week. Uh, still cool that everyone uh, met, but uh, sorry if the document was mis misleading. I, I'm going to guess I messed it up. I put the I copied the last month and put it in there, but I don't know how the date was the sixth because it's the second week. So I'm not sure what happened there actually. Um. Assuming that was the, the reason. Yeah, I think there was a, a, maybe like an understanding that the meeting was every two weeks. Yeah, I think I had the wrong impression. So I, I attended just like it. 
but there are other folks probably in the same bucket. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's okay. It just means we got more done. <laughs> yes. All right, we'll just we'll do the fashionably late thing. Uh, we'll give a few more seconds here. Hey, Ricardo, do you want to run this or um, do you want me to? Or feel free to run it. Yeah. So, yeah okay. Can maybe run the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Designate right. someone as a note taker. It might help you. Yes. A AI, where are you? <laughs> yeah, I can take some notes. The scribe du jour. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, get started. Um, welcome, everyone. Welcome to the Cloud Native AI Working Group. This is our first uh, <laughs> 1.5 meeting of, of September. Um, all right, I'm gonna skip Robert's rules of orders here. I move second and vote that we get started. Okay, so again, just a quick reminder for anyone who is new here. Uh, we got the, the logistics here at the top. Um, Ricardo, can you share the link in the, in the chat if it's not already, already there, uh, please? And let's see. Yeah, I already pasted it. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next section, general items. This is our key papers and dashboards and links. So be sure to check those out for those who, who may have not yet. Um, there's our etiquette. Okay, um, here's another bug. I need to fix right here. <laughs> uh, meetings, I'll fix it right now. Our ever, or the second and fourth Friday of the month. Okay. Hopefully we can keep that going. Um, all right, upcoming events. What do, what do we have here? We're, some of this we'll talk in a little more detail. Um, looks like the main thing, if anyone's got um, uh, details to add here for upcoming events, please do. Um, but the main thing is KubeCon, of course, that's coming up in November. And the the pre the pre party day is is AI day, which we were uh, very lightly involved with. Uh, we'll talk about that in a little little bit. Um, other than that, uh, I don't think there's anything new to re to report. Uh, any other events anyone wants to share coming up this quarter? There is a qu quarter means. Till December, right? Academic yeah, quarter, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. I think there is a KubeCon in New Delhi actually this year. I think this is the first time in December. Oh yes, that's right. They did just just do that. KubeCon uh, India, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I think that is on eleventh and twelfth December. Right on. Thank. You. Good reminder. Yeah. So if anybody's Looking to do some traveling. I think I was, I was traveling there. I mean, before this, I had a plan. So likely I will attend. Oh, very good. Excellent. Do we know who's uh, running this one? I'm sure it's been announced. We just have to look it up. But uh... yeah, I think the the chairs are maybe Nikita and and Rajas. There might be somebody else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, Rogers is is a friendly, so <laughs> we could we could talk to him and uh, see if see if there's something we could do. Very good. Uh, so deep, if, if I think that was you, deep that was talking. If uh, um, yeah, if you've got any plans or want to do something, uh, yeah, let's try to sync up with uh, Rogers and maybe we can do a little something about the group and activities. If yeah, you're if you're up for it. Uh, we can plan. Um, I have something different. I think uh, I sit parallelly working on something called OQS provider quantum uh, cryptography. Mm -hmm. So I have submitted something in that regard, not related to AI or whatever. So our security event. So uh, I'm not sure if that is going to be accepted or not because the result is going to be out on 30th September. But irrespective of that, because I'm going there, we can actually talk if something needs to be done there or what to do. Sounds good. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Um, 
moving along here. Uh, please add yourself to, to the meeting. Again, the link is in the, in the chat. And we're now finally at our reports. Okay, so uh, uh, Adele, see ya. Hello. <laughs> Good evening. Um, so I, I guess, guess we can just go in order here. Uh, for me, uh, down further below, the main thing to, to report on is just a couple of event-related items. Uh, just uh, we'll save it till then. So there's there's not much else to, to say about that. From a paper, again, we have that under the old business. So again, nothing else for me. Uh, Adele, do you want to have anything to add here? To like yeah, um, it's so I, I guess maybe it overlaps with the old business, but let me do it anyways. Um, so sure. for folks who are new, and so we're, we have multiple initiatives. So this groups, um, this group started as a group to tie back and route to other areas or other working groups focused on specific domain uh, uh, topics, right? Uh, so there's security, there's observability, there is sustainability. Um, we're working, so there's a charter. Uh, we're, we also have initiatives and other projects that we that come up, come out of this uh, working group. But one of the bigger initiatives so far, which is standardizing knowledge for AI across the landscape is writing papers and white, um, white papers and, and, and blog posts and basically building a language across the landscape. And so what, bit, what we have been doing is, um, so we have a paper, um, sustainability AI white paper, for example, in collaboration with Stack Environment Sustainability, where we are trying to define and reuse what we've built in the Cloud Native AI white paper, um, the life cycle, modifying that, and uh, that's in progress. And then we, have um, you know the scheduling white paper, and then we have uh, which John will talk about, and then we have um, uh, you know started the security uh, white paper. We want to start that deep. I, I've seen your uh, uh, interest in the subject matter, and I'm very happy that you're interested. Um, this has been dangling around, but yeah, I think we will get to it. Um, and then we have the collaboration ongoing with the Linux Foundation on, which is related by the way to uh, security, um, security is part of it. Uh, it's just responsible AI, uh, where, you know, we're, some of us are collaborating there and, and, and we're building a framework for, and, and dimensions for responsible AI, which will be the base for um, the stack and tooling that will, you know, that will be in the Linux Foundation. We'll try to categorize machine learning and AI tools under this these nine dimensions that we're building in responsible AI in collaboration with the Cloud Native, um, uh, what was the Linux Foundation? Um, yeah, so basically my update is I have been trying to collaborate and co-author some of these paper whenever possible. You're welcome to join. I think the sustainable AI initiative is still ongoing, the responsible AI initiative in collaboration with the Linux Foundation is in its final form, but have a look and see if you'd like to give any feedback. Um, and then what we are doing next is trying to clarify our charter and mix it with the vision and mission strategy document that we've created in the tag runtime uh, to, um, to make it clear about our activities and work that we're doing. Very good. Um, great. So right, I did uh, one question yes. uh, for this AI security paper. I think you were suggesting whether we can create a cadence or some group. Uh, yeah, yeah, you? yeah. Um, so I think that would make sense uh, when there is. So I don't know who's else, but we need to see if beyond, um, you know, if there is four people at least that are interested, we can definitely build a cadence. Um, to collaborate on it, I think two or three people are still manageable asynchronously, where we we can you know build a either talk on 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 uh, on the AI channel or uh, uh, you know uh, chat asynchronously on a document um, or on the document itself or in the issue. But I think more than three people, we can start a cadence, and at least we we need to build that foundation to start it. Um, so far, it's been like brainstorming. 
and I added the skillet and I'm planning to add more, but um, if there are other folks interested in security and AI, um, please let us know because then we can really um, start the cadence. I don't think it will be possible otherwise. Um, and actually to, to that point, um, Deep and others, if, if anyone has ideas, you know, uh, Adele's right, we need, we need to get a, a certain, you know, critical mass to get organized. But if you have thoughts, uh, please share because, uh, you know, you could always put them in the, in the Slack because that might interest people. A lot of times people want to do something, but they don't know where to start. So if we start picking and choosing things that might trigger, trigger things faster. So please uh, just throw some thoughts out there and that, that may uh, expedite the process. I see Marlo has her uh, hands up. Marlo? Hi, have you gone to the tag security meeting and asked them to collaborate with you? Yeah. Yes. I, I regularly attend tag security meeting. This issue, actually, I came to know about this issue from there only. Ah. Uh, so it has been taken there. The only question which is big, being asked over there is that there shouldn't be any overlap or what's going on. So in the last one month, I did speak to a variety of groups, including uh, OpenSSF group, AIML group, tax security. And I have come to realize that uh, what we are trying to do here is actually not there, not done. So it needs to be done. And when it comes to tax security, because that issue is there, we can post it again. Anyone who wants to collaborate actually can. So it's just incidental that we are talking here in this group, but the issue itself is known over there and here. One thing I have found effective for the environmental sustainability is to have a meeting that I invite both groups to um, or Adel invites also on this end. And so we have been having pretty good attendance last two weeks, notwithstanding. So that might be something you consider doing for papers. So if you are working on something currently, having a place where people can come and ask questions and know where they're supposed to be working is helpful for getting content generated. Yeah, that's a, that's a good good point, Marla. We. We've actually contacted all the groups to, to to start marching towards that. We just haven't actually gotten that far yet, but yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. just a difference between, hey, we're going to go do this thing over here and making it easy to forget or saying, here's a calendar event, please put in your calendar. Yeah, that, that's right. Yeah, we've just yeah. been trying to knock out other calendars as sure. well. <laughs> always. People yes. are always too busy. That's just the way it is, but yeah. it, does it, does it makes them wanna... earmark the time. Yeah, does anyone want to take that up? Like, have a yeah, I, I will. We've I've already we've been working on it. Yep. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Very so just good. conclude. Uh, so, okay, sorry. So the security people. So I have started. I mean, I have some thoughts, and I was trying to capture. I have not posted in the document. Adele, you had actually mentioned there. Uh, so we can actually uh, keep on working and see that. Uh, there are more number of people interested than we can actually create a cadence. And second thing is that, do you believe that uh, we should be uh, taking this issue to tech security formally in their agenda? Because I just had discussed, you know, informally every time I was there, I raised, I asked, do you believe that I need to insert as an agenda that this is what we are doing and uh, please join in our comment? I, yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is, you know, it's, it's early, early days deep. So yeah, yeah I, I think, to, to the point of just having an open conversation, yeah, let's just, we'll meet and see, you know, just let them know we have people who are interested. Again, if we have some specific ideas already, just share them, right? Because again, they may not be on top of their mind, right? Or, or you know, you'll wake people up, right? So um, yeah, definitely let's, let's uh, if we have the interest here, let's get it, get it, uh, meet up with them and and just uh, at least start the conversation. We don't have to. Have I would propose that concretely, uh, Deep. If you're already in these meetings and you want to drive that, yeah. I would propose that. I would say like, hey, we have the skills for a white paper. We, uh, we have the issue ongoing or like up there for quite some time. I would like to start that. Is there anyone from this group, as as Marlo mentioned, would be able to drive that? That's what we. So I added a you know, talk to Marlo, Marlo. Uh, suggested we go to tax environment sustainability, add the topic in the agenda and discuss the issue that we have, you know, uh, we want to create a white paper on this topic. I think we can be explicit about that and see if there's enough interest in that space as well. Um, and who will be the key person to collaborate with us and help us drive 
um, the work from that side because that's the domain um, where that's where the domain knowledge is. We are basically drivers for initiatives, but the domain for security is also you know we need someone to collaborate with us. We have we bring the AI. Someone needs to bring the security, and we need to collaborate. So we need a key driver from that space. And if you're already attending, I think if you can make that explicit. I can also attend. Ron is already uh, uh, in contact. So if you have a time, um, or if 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 you want to suggest that in a specific time, just let us know and can join in. But, yeah. Now, uh, you need to pay careful attention to what uh, time zones people are in in setting the time for your meetings. That's the other we thing. We have is. actually, see, the good news is that uh, uh, now uh, we both have EMEA and North America time for tech security. So I assume that one of the two should work to put people. I, I mean, and if you're doing a meeting to work on the paper, because some of the Oh, yeah, yeah. challenge with the sustainability one has been what format do we need and so we really do have to discuss that as a group before we continue work on it so you will probably have similar uh, discussions oh yeah definitely i mean yeah once we know that the group of yeah. people who are going to work in part of that cadence we have to settle on a time which works for everyone yeah yeah there's a phrase i use when starting new groups it's called being aggressively friendly you need to be aggressively <laughs> friendly in order to get everyone on board yeah yeah, thank you. And make sure you have a comment about contributing to the paper. Just want to make sure that if you have any. Uh, yeah, so I looked at the issue and I saw the skeleton that was laid out. I, I'm interested in contributing. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know if I can lead it, but I will I'll definitely join any meetings if uh, Deep, if you set up any of them or if you yeah. set up. Yeah, I think original set of folks who actually uh, have expressed their interest on that uh, like uh, paper, they are already included. So you are there, Nimisha, and I see that you had added a few things. Yeah, I would say just concretely, let's let's bring it up then in in one of the tax security meetings and deep or uh, Nimisha, if you want to drive that, feel free to invite us in that in there. Um, to join and uh, support the cause and collaborate. You should probably have, bring Frederick Houts along with you because he'll be he understands the space on both ends as well. Yeah, he's. So I if think you can message him. Little, yeah, uh, he's there. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks. All right, so we'll move on to the next one. Yeah, Adele, were you were you finished, Adele, with with everything? Yes. Okay, sorry, Ricardo. Did, um... Yeah. So the the only update the or major update that I have is that I give a talk at uh, Swamp Up uh, on Wednesday on cloud native AI among other things. Uh, so there was a lot of interest. So hopefully we get some more folks interested in joining. Awesome. I I heard uh, through the grapevine. Uh, you were you were there. Some some people uh, I was talking to. They're like, "Hey, do you know Ricardo?" And Ricardo's in Austin. I was like, "Oh man, what did Texas do to deserve that?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they gave us some nice uh, Texas hats. <laughs> I'm in Austin too. Don't knock it. <laughs> well, <laughs> cool, cool, very cool. Uh, uh, I, mean, I don't have any other major updates. I mean, uh, I mean, it's I mean, it's great that a lot of these initiatives are coming together and we might have to set up separate meetings for, for some of these things, right? So. Yeah, that, that's all right. Um, all right, if you're finished, uh, Ricardo, I'll go ahead and get on yeah. with the, the new business. All right, so um, first thing is to review or quickly um, AI Day and KubeCon regarding AI activities. So let me find where I put some links. All right, there's one. There's two. Uh, can you guys see this? I forget if I was sharing a tab or my screen. Yep. You do. All right. Cool. Um, so again, these links are in in the in the doc. So so there is a, a pregame to KubeCon, uh, Kubernetes AI Day, which uh, Rajas and others are organizing. Um, I think we were still kind of debating what this actually was about. My memory last time I asked was this is an opportunity for members to discuss their 
AI offerings more so than any other kinds of activities. But Adele, I think you had maybe commented as well. Maybe there was a different point of view. Um, but either way, let's take a look at the this is schedule. no, this is a schedule with talks. I was on the review committee. This is yeah, a but, day like but the, the other day, but with talks. Uh, is it um, okay? Then then I'm yeah. Then there's it's, a then bunch of zero day events. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of zero day events. So if you go to the view the full uh, schedule on the left yeah. under schedule, yeah. Uh, right. Join or don't, doesn't matter. And then you Ooh, scroll down yeah, yeah. to the AI day because you have a bunch of the zero day ones. So just find the AI day. It's like three clicks to find it. Three clicks. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Do a search. It'll it's take on the last time. You can click on the right, I think, for filter. Right, yeah. Right. Sort out by the right, filter by type. Is there something called AI day? Or... Yep, right there. Welcome in opening remarks. Go click on that thing. It's highlighted. Oh, but this is just one. I was trying to get a list. Yeah, of yeah, you have to find the AI, AI day specific one. Sorry about that. Okay. So you go back to schedule and filter by type on the right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's spelled differently. <laughs> yeah, they, we see this a lot. We need to we need to get everybody to agree on what uh, what we call this stuff. Um, Just say all. Yeah. yeah. There you go. All right. All right. Yay! I'm learning computers. Woo. All right. Um, some. I guess I won't read this to everybody. Maybe just take a moment to kind of look through this, and then we could um, see what what we want to maybe discuss. I guess the, the topic that was brought up, I guess, uh, you know, the question that you meant, so that we have KubeCon and we have AI talks and KubeCon, and the, but we have the specific day. I guess it, it's probably a very large topic to fit into uh, KubeCon. The line is not really, I think the line when it goes to KubeCon is probably specific to Kubernetes uh, versus like cloud native uh, topics in general that might or might have might or might not have to do with Kubernetes in general. Yeah, yeah, it might be a way to. Uh, Marla, I think it was you that was, was commenting on this. You said you were on the review. Um, what, yeah, I was on what's the, review the reason? Committee. What's what's the reason for two different events? What do you mean? Well, we have AI at KubeCon and AI Day before KubeCon. Yeah, these are the talks. So there's a bunch of zero day events. So if you look on your right, there's the Envoy Con, Istio Day, all those things. And those are all specific for uh, talks specific to the topic. I see. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's just, all right. I'll follow you. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, Not enough also... time in, uh, in, 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 in KubeCon to fit all these talks in. So they need an. I, honestly, there were, there was like a hundred talks in there. And this is the resulting number, and they were all good. So, well, not all, but mostly good. Okay. Yeah, but the, I think so the this is a was, small uh, subset. Yeah, the question also was uh, about KubeCon having AI talks, right? So that there will be like a bunch of AI talks also at KubeCon, right? Yeah, yeah, that's that's the next thing. All right, so so I guess if um, I mean, any first off, for I say anything, uh, anyone have any? Questions about the topics Namisha. here? Yeah. Well, uh, Namisha, hi. Come yeah, hey, uh, actually not about the talks, but uh, last time in this group, there was a mention of a booth or something like that. So uh, is this group going to have its own booth and what? Yeah, what? that's that's what I was just going to talk about. Okay. <laughs> yeah, will... yeah, so any, any comments on the talks here? Um, if yeah, not, so uh, will Tagrin Time is going to have a booth or, or we apply for a booth? We haven't received confirmation, but... Uh, yeah, we can use that both to um, sell our wares, staff it, and and and, <laughs> and you know people come around and ask questions about the the group and cloud native AI or the white papers that we're working on or the, the cloud native the old cloud native AI white paper. Yeah, so so uh, Rajas had mentioned uh, when we had asked um, for for what was going on with this um, because no one talked to us uh, about AI Day at all. Um, so we were like, well, it's kind of strange to have an AI group and not be invited to AI day. So we invited ourselves and, um, basically was like, Hey, what's going on? 
Um, and what it amounted to was, as we came uh, kind of in the middle of no booth, but, uh, bar, you know, ignoring the runtime request, uh, but maybe act like docents. So um, basically the idea is, is for anyone who is going, who shows up in AI day, we just kind of walk the floor uh, to just meet, meet and greet people, telling them kind of what the group is about and help guide people and and i think that's perfectly fine because at the end of the day that's what the booth is right? the booth is just where you're standing right and so just as a general thing that's fine with me um you know we're just trying to be uh helpful and in this case what i think probably the misstep here is uh we have all these talks and to adele's point some of it may not be you know kubernetes uh specific but we are the cloud native ai group and so Mar for me Marla. The idea, right. yeah, hold on one second. The idea I, is is that um, when we, you know, do talk about this, we should be able to support these efforts as well, but we need to know what these efforts are. So we just have to have time to, you know, read through the topics and make sure that we can uh, assist if possible. Mar yes, Mar Marlon. Marlon has her. Yeah, yes. I, I yeah, this group has been going on for years. Your group was formed after this was already running. This was initially the HPC AI batch group. And this was being run with the UG research group. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, yeah so that's... just so you know, they're not not they're not excluding you on purpose. This was them um, already running and continuing on a a train they were already on. Yep, that fair enough. It's yeah, just we're all my point is is we're not a secret group, <laughs> right? And the people running this know we're here. That that that's all. There so, yeah. there's a lot of AI groups. It may be hard for them to track everyone. OK. Well, uh, I don't think there is. Uh, so there are interested groups in AI, but I think in the cloud native, this is the only AI working group. There is, in Kubernetes, there is um, serving. And then in CNCF, there's patch. But this is the only AI working group under tag runtime. Well, to, to Marla's point about the HPC, yeah, I, I, I'll just say, Marla, I agree with you on the HPC part. That's kind of my, that's my point, uh, is that all these, like many, not all, but many of these tools may not, you know, have originally like a Kubernetes, I, I bring up Kubernetes because it's the easy one to talk about, but cloud native focus, right? And so that's all, it's just as a, I'm just thinking of it as a, if we could prep by knowing in advance what's going on, then we could, we could assist uh, yeah, but we don't if, we don't always have to. It's just that was just an idea. Uh, go ahead, Marley. I would encourage you to reach out to the UG research folk and work with them. Um, because one thing I will note is that Kubernetes is still not built for AI workloads. It's it's inefficient. And that's why we keep having these discussions, is because it is inefficient. Um, it doesn't have the regular CPU alignment. I know we have DRA in process, but that's still there. It can't handle dynamic resources. And so people from a training standpoint are use, still using Slurm. They're not using Kubernetes. So trying to get a more cloud native thing has to do with a little bit of shift in how people think about compute and also changing uh, Kubernetes core as far as efficiency. So this is this is really going to be an effort across groups, because there's the Kubeflow groups that there's two different Kubeflow groups, there's two different Kubernetes groups, there's two different um, cloud native groups that I know of, because there's your group and there's also the working group batch. There's a lot of groups. Um, so being a place to help people coordinate might be useful, but there is a place for coordination that has been historically there, and that is UG Research. So I would recommend reaching out to them and finding a collaboration point. So who is YouTube Are, research? Do you have a contact is, for that? Yeah, is there, are they the CNCF? Like who, uh, Ricardo Roca is your best contact in that group. Okay, yeah, we know who he is. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, Slurm is one of the solutions, but there, there are other solutions like Ray, for example, and uh, they're used for training jobs. Um, I'm but, talking yeah, about the most used, and I, I know I'm biased because I'm at this company. There are others <laughs> as well, but yeah. Yeah, yeah there's, there's lots of distributed schedulers out, out there for sure. I, I guess, yeah, the, the point is, this is larger than Kubernetes. Um, there are a lot of working groups trying to solve different problems or even the same problems across different entities and organizations. So there's the six, there's the CNCF. I think within the CNCF, we need to align at least the groups that are there, like uh, working group patch. And 
you mentioned you mentioned the Yugi research uh, that we can reach out to, and then I guess we have better alignment. But as far as I uh, know, um, we also need to reach out to organizers of this event to um, to maybe brainstorm on on what best to be included here and how it's different, and then provide better guidance to the community. All right. All right. Well, thanks, Marlo, for the, the reminder of other other efforts. That is very true. Uh, I just put the schedule for here, and if anybody wants to scroll through. So um, same idea. This is uh, KubeCon's uh, AI, some of the AI talks. Uh, just so everybody knows, sometimes there's several talks for AI and ML that are not actually classified as AI ML. So you may want to look at the full schedule, but these are the ones that are uh, seeming with the tag. So maybe take a moment here and see if you have any uh, thoughts or comments on, on the KubeCon AI talks, not the AI day. I was uh, hi. I was curious about uh, LLM powered agents with Kubernetes by Red Hat. Cloud. Like in cloud native AI. Is is that one of the talks here? Yes, not uh, in the, here, but the but the cloud native AI, the previous one. On a, you mean on on yeah on this this guy. You should probably look at the speaker. Find them on Slack. <laughs> That's usually what I do. <laughs> And then go have a conversation. So yeah. what was uh, you're looking for? Red Hat, you said? So are they building up the agents to manage the Kubernetes system? This is just, uh, yeah, this will be a high level uh, talk about pattern for building agents in with Kubernetes. Here. Oh, is, is Red Hat one word? Am I wrong? <laughs> no, it's Sorry. not you. They're not, they're not using any like kind of a scaling application or just showing a rag over a Kubernetes cluster. They are building a LLM for managing a Kubernetes cluster. Like a multi-agents. A system. Uh, yeah. Building a system and showing a pattern for doing that. Did you say an LLM for, for managing Kubernetes? or, or just to, mo to modify based on data. The telemetry data, yeah. Yeah, so this is probably in comparison today against something like HGPT, right? I think that might be what they're saying here. Uh, for example, in the case of something like HGPT, which is, which is not there yet, is using an LLM, but it doesn't, um, there's no reasoning, right? There's no action. Um, so, you know, being agentic at this point. So just as a, to, for those who are more familiar with KGPT, it might be some point of comparison. Yeah, and it'll it'll be hard to to uh, to get to the point where you do action because you you need to kind of you, you need to monitor the output of your LLMs, and you uh, you may be aware that be LLMs like actually hallucinate quite a bit. So, I think there will be multiple agents. One is like giving you the output of like your issues or your telemetry. One is like a deployment. One is like generating a YML file. So they are like talking to each other, I guess. Yeah, typically the agents work together to solve an issue. So you have agents assigned on function or task, and then based on their knowledge, they collaborate to essentially remediate or resolve something. So Andrew Ng did a lot of work on agentic agents or agentic um, AI to remediate things in this area. So there are two things, right? There's agentic behavior, which is, uh, you know, I have memory, I have reasoning capabilities, and I have an end goal that I want to go. And then there is this thinking process to get there and the reasoning. One of the examples is React. That's an agentic behavior. And then there is, you know, specializing an agentic behavior towards solving for a domain. And then there's multi-agents where multiple of these agents talk to one another in a distributed manner using, you know, it potentially using functions and tools and function calling to call to external systems. This is all a system um, that 
this talk will show how this system can can be built. Cool. Any other talks, uh, anyone of interest? I, I don't know about everyone else, but traceability is a topic which keeps coming up again and again. The ability to actually trace what's going on, particularly with some of the legislation that we're seeing coming in in Europe and other places. The Depending on what workloads you're working with, the ability to trace back and understand what was happening or what happened within um, within an execution path is becoming more and more critical. And I know it's not a place that we're exactly at in terms of having all the, the boxes ticked yet, but certainly a topic which is becoming more prevalent in um, certain domains. So beyond just root cause analysis for crashing, right? The actual decision workflow. So, so, so somebody wants, there needs to be a human to, to strangle if something goes wrong. That's that, yeah, <laughs> and yes. there, there needs to be the, the path to get back to why did this exactly happen? What was the root cause? What were the steps to get there? And you know what do we need to tinker with to actually make it never happen again? So I think that, Basically, that's... Yeah, basically audit logs for AI. That's right. That's right. Yeah, exactly, an audit trail. So just uh, maybe just to throw it out there, um, there are, uh, are other groups doing things in this this neck of the woods as well. Um, there's the Internet Society AI SIG. There's the the IEEE um, AI SIG as well. Uh, so yeah, that's um, maybe that's something we could um, Josh, if you if you shoot a reminder, um, we could. Um, can go do a little hunt uh, to get some of those those kind of tracking efforts that they're doing just to point people to, to do some further reading. Also nascent in those those places as well, but there are other groups doing things in, of that nature. Okay. All right. Um, so that is KubeCon coming up. Um, we will. Uh, uh, try to make a little one pager guide to uh, for anyone who is attending. I'll be there uh, to maybe you know maybe if anyone else here we could sync up and make a divide and conquer plan to just kind of uh, help guide people around this this ecosystem and get some feedback on things they're interested in. Okay. Um, all right, we got about eighteen minutes to go. Um, next item was around discussion and feedback. I think we've got some good talks here. Uh, we have a lot of people in this channel uh, and a fair bit of people here are attending. So um, just looking, if anything, this is just more of a call to action to everyone. It looks like we may get the security effort going, but we've had some efforts um, that need to, to get a little more love as well. So again, for anyone who's in the room, if you, if you have thoughts and ideas, be sure to check out our dashboard. Again, the link is, is at the top for some projects that are going on. Again, there's all kinds of activities for those who are newer uh, and may not be AI experts. There's, uh, for example, the radar, right? The radar is just another uh, kind of, I don't want to call it a marketing tool, but it's a marketing tool. And it allows us to kind of categorize uh, efforts that are going on in the space. It helps people like executives understand what's going on so they can support their teams. Right, so there's kind of these business end activities. Then of course, there's these more technical ones, right? So again, like a security uh, white paper, scheduling white paper, these kinds of things. So uh, for those who are looking for things to do, please, um, you know, if you don't wanna do it here in the meeting, contact us offline um, and just just let us know kind of what you're interested in. There's, there's plenty of, uh, we'll say task things. You don't have to make a large commitment as well. Okay. There is also a yeah. issue for the for the radar on our um, on our board. So if if someone is interested, can assign themselves to it uh, as well, or voice the interest in the issue so that everyone else is also seeing who's interested in what. Yes. So um, speaking of some of those, uh, I kind of skipped over the old business here. Uh, so we mentioned the security. Uh, paper there there's the link for those uh, who may not have noticed there to want to read what's going on uh adele do you want to comment on on the sustainability efforts any any updates 
I can give a quick overview. Um, Marlo is also joining that effort. So what we're basically doing is we have defined, and I think this is the, the approach that is reusable across the different white papers. Uh, so in the CNAI white paper, we have broadly covered the AI personas and topics in the space. In this paper, we're dividing into dimensions. So we have the AI lifecycle, we have the types of systems, um, and we have uh, the personas interested. And then there is what we're going to be doing next um, is try to map the personas in the context of these dimensions uh, across the entire life cycle. Like, you know, as an AI engineer building a RAG application, um, in, uh, I, I will need involved in these uh, stages of the life cycle. I need to care about uh, how uh, I'm training or how uh, I am I am tuning my um, LLM so that I have sustainability in mind. For example, I just brought this up. Uh, so we're trying to map these personas, types of systems together into a framework to describe the problems and the solutions and the challenges. And you can go to the paper to see the format um, existing today that we're going to proceed with. Um, but so far we've been trying to define common language, what, you know, who are the main personas? What stage of the life cycle? What are the systems that we want to be focusing on? Is it data center? Is it edge? Is it telco? Um, and then focusing and, and also looking at, you know, motivating the problem, like, uh, you know, whether it's water or uh, carbon emissions, why is it a problem and so on. So highlighting the problem, mapping it to use cases and personas and life cycle is probably going to be the main narrative for this paper. Okay. Marlo, did you want to add any anything? Yeah, um, just real quick. Uh, Adele has done a really good job at trying to get us all on the same page as far as format. We may be useful to take that format and just transcribe it as like a suggestion somewhere in your repo as far as like all the things that need to be filled for for a new subject. So the types of lifecycle stuff we are discussing, like that format is easily translatable to a security paper, for instance. Right. Yep. Make it make it easy. <laughs> uh, deep, please. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So on that kind of a question, when we talk about all these personas and so on. I see that variety of paper coming from OpenSSF AIML group or OWASP. They have defined personas here and there. Is there any method in the madness or we just go by what we see? Is there is what? There standard? Ah, is there a standard? Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't think there, I've seen a, a standard. So we come from different places, uh, but I think there is, there's, you know, OWASP focuses on applications like top 10. Here is what people would see, but from an application perspective, um, uh, OpenSSF focus again doesn't have really like platform. Um, cloud native is cloud native, so we've been in the uh, from the hardware layer to to even before before the application. I guess I don't think we have much in the application layer, so I guess we don't have that common ground across all these parties, but in the CNCF, we need to have that visibility and showcase that visibility across the stack. And so we need to standardize. So this is a place to standardize. CNCF or the Linux Foundation would be a good place to standardize the personas. Um, and we have a glossary. It's not good at the moment, because uh, I think we, we started, it's something, but it, it will need to be improved. Um, to cater for the different types of persona. And so, for example, with the sustainability white paper, we're getting that persona definition and honing it. I think we're getting way better articulation of what the personas are. So with each paper we write, we develop a better understanding of the involved personas in the AI ecosystem, especially from a cloud native lens. And that's mm -hmm. something we will externalize to our glossary. And so hopefully the glossary from coming out from this working group would become a reference for personas across the cloud native ecosystem and even hopefully the Linux Foundation. So I'm trying, also my participation in the Linux Foundation is trying to bring those personas to life so that we have a common language to speak across the stack. 
Yeah, I think that would be helpful because, see, one of the reason I asked this question, because if you read any paper, let's say OWASP or whatever, in the end of the day, whatever security issues particularly raised there in a certain context or with certain personas, the AI security paper we are writing, we should be able to correlate one-to-one -one actually, or which bucket it falls to. So it somehow need to be covered and somehow there got to be some understanding that when we talk about a user or identity, vis-a-vis -vis OWASP, how it translates to which personas in our CNCF land basically. So yeah, so I think that will be helpful. But you said, uh, is it mentioned in sustainability AI paper or something? You guys yeah. have some? Yeah, okay. so we have, we have a section, um, uh, we have multiple sections actually in the sustainability white paper and then it's not really, uh, groomed yet but if you go there you're going to find so vincent recently combined it into a table yesterday actually and added a table with the personas and the role in the life cycle and so that is something that we can externalize and reference from runtime notes um so that that is what i meant and so that's what i meant by we're learning and as we're writing new papers we're expanding the personas because there is there's the data scientist, there is the AI engineer, there is uh, the, uh, the the model builder, there is uh, the operational team, there is... Uh, we, and we, we, ha we have <laughs> other 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 roles from the other yeah. papers, earlier papers as well. Marlo, did you, did you, uh, uh, were you yeah, that before? Right. Just, just a little bit of commentary. Um, we also have in there, not only personas, but types of systems. So the way you're going to solve an edge case is going to be very different than the way you're going to solve a data center case um, for different areas. And you probably That's shouldn't be doing point. the yeah. case unless it's very small training jobs. Um, so when I look at these, right, I'm a systems person. I look more at the systems and I look at the people in different areas um, because the types of solutions for particular types of systems are radically different. That's a good point. Yep. 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 Very good. Um, okay. We got just a few minutes here. Um, next is the scheduling paper. Uh, not much to update there uh, from what's been happening. So if anyone has contributed in the last few weeks, uh, I have not looked at it because uh, I was just letting it cook, but um, I'm going to take a swing at it probably next weekend, maybe this weekend, probably next weekend. And for me, I'm going to focus on just editing it more so than worrying about any particular co um, uh, content. And the idea is it makes it a little more readable. And then hopefully at that point, we'll we'll let turn it over to some for those who are interested to, to add any additional content. Uh, but it's kind of at a point where uh, it's been at a point for there's a lot of content, but it needs to be kind of readable now. <laughs> so we need to start streamlining it and then we'll, we'll do another uh, peer review and go, go from there. Um, Vijay has his thumb up. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. It's been a long time coming, but that's okay. Yeah. We, we just, uh, we, we just gotta let it cook and we'll, we'll get it done. Um, we talked about uh, meeting up with the other tags. Um, last thing I'll mention here is uh, one of the projects we're, we're working on is um, KHGPT integration with things. So um, just a little bit of progress here. Uh, I have uh, been in contact with the, the core contributors of KHGPT on, on a few things over the last uh, couple months. And uh, we're currently uh, in a, Namisha, this 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 applies to to uh, the Cilium uh, uh, pull request as well. We're looking at what it means for KHGPT to integrate with things. So, um, long story short, uh, when they first made KHGPT, they built in support to different degrees of other tools. So, Trivi, um, Prometheus, uh, AWS Metrics. Um, uh, then I added Kiverno. Um, so, so there's, there's a variety of things, right? And so some of them do slightly different things. For example, Trivi actually has an option to install Trivi through KHGPT. I personally hate that, <laughs> but that's just, that's just a personal issue. Um, but that because of that variety of things you could do, um, what should we be doing? So now it's starting to become a little clear to Alex and Eris and, and the other uh, core developers 
Um, so we're working on um, maybe pulling some of this stuff out uh, using what they call custom analyzer. So we're again, how things are inter interopting with case GPT is currently, uh, we'll just say being redesigned uh, to make it more uh, future proof and easier to, to use. So uh, Namisha, the, um, the, the, the Cilium request you did, uh, I reviewed it. Looks fine. The, the holdup is um, we may not do it that way. <laughs> we, we may rip it out and actually uh, put it in um, a custom analyzer. And so uh, I'll, I'll uh, when I get more details, uh, I'll, I'll let you know, but um, we should also sync up on just CNIs uh, in general, uh, you know, the Istio, Cilium, right? All these things, right? Because uh, there's a lot of them. So we're going to want to make sure we kind of capture the utility of these tools and the utility of KHGPT uh, properly. So the good news is things are moving along well. So there's going to, uh, I'll be coding up. This is why I can't work on the paper. I'll be rewriting all this to be custom analyzers this weekend. Um, so we can actually have a point of a POC comparison of what we've done and what, what we might do uh, and go from there. So that's what's going on uh, there. Any any questions? Thanks for the update. Um, yeah. Thanks for the, the 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 lift. It makes it makes them excited to see more contributions. So uh, it, it'll it'll make it eventually. We just got to figure out the, the best way to do it. Okay. All right. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, anyone have any questions or comments here for the last couple of minutes? If not, we'll uh, so, say, so say do we good. have any action items to set up a different meeting for security or or we? Yeah, the, we do... today's one. I added one for so. I think Deep or Namisha, you 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 want to pick this one up? Um, I added your names there, uh, so feel free to remove your names if you're not. Um, if if you would like someone else to do it, I'm happy to help. No, good, great, thank you. Yeah. Awesome. I can sing with Deep offline, and we'll figure it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the there are a looking books. at the scheduling paper too. So that's that's great. <laughs> Yeah, right on. Um, all right. Well, at uh, eight fifty-seven, I uh, I move to adjourn. Can I get a second? <laughs> all right, Ricardo. Thanks for the second. All right, uh, meeting adjourn. Hey, Ricardo, real quick for you, bounce. Uh, we have the lead, the leads meet meeting. Are you coming next? Oh, is, is it scheduled right after this one? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll be there. Yes. Okay. Uh, I have to take my kid to school, so I will join by phone. But so Adele or, or Ricardo, could one of you make sure that's Can whether you... we're doing it or not? <laughs> like I'll join, but I, I'll be driving. Let, yeah. Let's think. Let's think. Uh, I'll send you a Slack. Right, right, I'll let's, join. let's think up on Slack. Yeah. Let's see and, and uh, okay. see what, what we can do. Yeah. All right. All right. Awesome. Thank you all for joining. Thanks, Thanks see everybody. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Thank you, buddy.